welcome to Sunday review. Um, I've not done this before. It's awkward. Um, yeah. So, I am reviewing Todrick Hall's album, Straight Outta Oz. In particular, the deluxe edition because it's fantastic. Um, we're gonna break down each song. Uh, hopefully, have a bit of stuff going on in the background it all depends on copyright we keep getting videos blocked which is just bullshit it's people being so players okay um right I, excuse me because i've got a list of all the songs because there's a lot on this album um and there's a lot of kind of little ones so anyway i'm going to put it off to the side off to the side rob's got like 10 screens so I'll do it over there okay and i'm sorry if i keep looking down I tend to watch myself instead of talk to you, but it's, it's the way I yeah. am. Okay. So, first song on the album is called No Place Like Home. This is a personal favourite of mine. It is fab. Um, even the music video is brilliant. I love the whole pay no attention to the man behind the curtain, which is obviously quite a key thing from Wizard of Oz. And that's the thing about this album. It's called Straight Out of Oz, and every single song although you may not always realise, has little tie-ins with Wizard of Oz. Even if it's small, they all connect. Um, and if you watch the deluxe edition on YouTube, I will link it below, it's almost like a full movie with the way it runs. It's every single song together. He's got like little bits of commentary in between, which is fab. Um, but yeah, No Place Like Home is brilliant. It's fantastic. It's a gorgeous song. Uh, love listening to it, spamming it. Uh, fantastic way to start an album. It's then followed by Proud, which again is a, another song I love. Um, it's more when he was a kid and he was singing at church um, and he was trying to make sort of his whole family proud. He talks about how his brothers were off playing sports, so <laughs> they left all the singing to him. Um, and he has, in the, in, well, in the deluxe edition, the video sort of album. Um, there is actually a video of him when he was younger singing and even though his voice is beautiful he was obviously destined to do this um, and his story is fantastic I don't know how many times I've listened to this album but Proud is it's a real kind of feel good kind of spiritual song it's great it's great <laughs> Um, then it's followed by Over the Rainbow, which might be my favourite song from this album, which is difficult to say because I like all of them. Um, there's just something very touching and very moving about it, and it's it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful song about his dad and about growing up, and that little boys shouldn't do all these things that little girls do. It's not right for little boys to like pink. It's not right for little boys to want to sing. It's not right for little boys to hold other little boys' hands. And we know that that is a crock of shit. <laughs> it's a crock of shit. That's the only nice way you can put it. And it's a firm belief that I. You can love whoever you want. What is. Where is the harm? You know? Where is the problem? You know, men and women are allowed to love each other, so why not men loving men? Why not women loving women? If you love that person, it shouldn't matter what gender they are, or if they're transgender, or the colour of their skin, where they're from. If you love someone, who the fuck cares? <laughs> um, so following that, actually, is Black and White. Now, this has... Oh, what are they called? Pen, pentatonics. Is that what it is? Acapella group. Um they are in this song and this is another one I love it's all about dreaming but don't dream too big it's like to say we've got this box we're trying to fit you in and stuff so it's like they tell you to dream they tell you to live big but not too big um, because if you dream too big that's not a good thing especially he talks about because he was black and he was gay well say what he is gay <laughs> Um that he wasn't allowed to dream as big as everyone else and that's kind of how it feels and that in itself is very wrong as well 
why the hell should the way you look or the way you love make a difference to how far you can get and what your dreams can be again it's a it's a crock of shit <laughs> Um, but it is another song I love it's really upbeat and catchy and fantastic um, following that we've got Colour which is I'm trying to read it, it's really small on the other screen so it's featuring Jay Armstrong um, which is basically talking about the first time he fell in love and his first boyfriend I believe I mean and this is just my interpretation of all the songs I could be completely off could be completely wrong but this is just how I've heard it and how I've perceived it so just let me know obviously it's the same as reading a book you all have your own thing going on in your head um but color is is almost like with wizard of oz how you go from black and white to the color i think that was like a transition um and he was saying that until then all his world had all been black and white so it'd been dark it'd been dull he wasn't happy until he met this guy and he started to show him color in the world um, but then right at the end we kind of get the same thing that they don't see colour anymore in the sense that he's white, Todrick's black who cares? <laughs> you know, they don't see the colour they just see the person they love which is exactly what we were saying before that who cares what they look like what they're into you know, what their religion is just love them if you love them it is, it's so simple to me <laughs> um, so following that we have Little People now to be honest this is a song that I'm not uh, not overly keen on um, it's not because it's a bad song I think it's just because it's too cheesy for my liking it's very um, that he's going away and all his friends are dancing around him and stuff I, I, don't, I don't know there's something jarring that I'm just not not keen on um, sorry <clears throat> I have a sore throat so I'm going to need a drink break so don't worry it says McDonald's but it's just low fat oasis don't be fat shaming okay moving on then because there's not much I can say about little people because it's one I haven't haven't listened to all that much because I'm not keen on it um but following that we've got expensive <laughs> which it's not the type of song I would normally like but I'm addicted to it literally addicted because he's got so many other drag queens in it as well from a couple of different seasons of RuPaul um, like he's got Shangela, Valentina, Eureka um, oh, I can't, I'm really bad with names but I know all of them like their faces I know who they are um, and the song itself is just, I don't know, it's just so catchy um, and I love, the, <laughs> I love the line, black cards matter like a play on the whole black lives matter um, I just think he obviously just had fun with this one and you know, kind of did whatever he wanted it was a bit of lightness in the story talking about how Hollywood there's a certain expectation to be had I guess that you need to live your lifestyle a certain way it's very lavish very rich very expensive um, expensive the song <laughs> so following that you've got whoop that ass um, which I think is from the video it must be based on a phone call he had from his mum when she's pretty pissed um, not much to say about it again it's not what I'm keen on it's by Tracy Thomas she sings this one um, yeah again I don't know why I'm just not that into that one same with the following song so it's Flying Monkeys Lament One so I think it's supposed to just be a bit of a cheeky interlude anyway um, it's by Ra Raven Simone sings it and I love her <laughs> um, I think she is one funny bitch but again it's one that kind of jars with me I'm not too keen on it not too fussed about it it's kind of a bit cheesy I guess a bit playful uh, but I'm not I'm not into it okay following that we have dumb now I do love this song <laughs> it basically encompasses everything I've just been saying that it's totally dumb to pay women less it's dumb to discriminate against gay people it's dumb to look at someone's colour of their skin and judge them you know all these things in society that are wrong that people do it's dumb 
That's basically the whole premise of the song. I'm pretty sure one line in this, I might have got it from the wrong song. He said, would you like me more if I was less gay? If I was a woman, would you try and pay me less pay? Something like that. And that's one of my favourite songs, my favourite lines from that song. And again, it's a really catchy one. It's fantastic. It's got a great beat. It's one of those where you know the lyrics like that because it's just so catchy and well written. Um, it really gets a message across as well, so definitely give that one a listen. It's fab. Um, sorry, I'm trying to speed up a bit because every time I breathe, I feel like I need to cough. Just give me. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Following that is If I Had a Heart. Now, I can't really say much about this one because, again, it's another one of those I wasn't that keen on, so I never really went back to it. It didn't, I guess it didn't stand out much for me to go back to it. It wasn't as catchy as the rest. That's all I can say. It's, it's obviously based on the tip man with the whole having a heart. Um... I mean, listen to it for yourselves. You, obviously, all these songs make your own decision. Um, but that one, not keen on. It's the same with Lying to Myself and Lions and Tigers and Bears. For some reason, I just don't really listen to those ones at all. So I can't really say anything about them because I don't know anything about them to say it. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> I've got the Will Sore's throat, right? following those however we get Pappy and Pappy is one of the top songs for me it's got Nicole Scherzinger in it it is funny it's fantastic but at the same time it's kind of desperately sad um because I mean if this album is based on his life like I assume it is um it means he obviously had an experience with an agent where they say you have to sleep with them and they'll make you go far basically you have to sleep with them to get to the top and that is what this song is about that she's wanting him to sleep with her and then she will help him achieve his career however it is a really catchy song it's beautifully written um, the fact it's called Pappy which is like Poppy and she's wearing the Poppy dresses because obviously in Wizard of Oz the Poppy field is dangerous it sends you to sleep like it, it's almost like trying to take you off of your path um, which is a clever tie-in again to Wizard of Oz um, However, I must say, my favourite bit is Todrick in the song, when he says, you've never touched a boob in your whole life, and she's got two of them. Now, it's probably one of the best songs ever in a song. <laughs> best lines, sorry, ever written in a song. I could listen to that bit over and over. It's just the comical elements in there. And, I mean, I can say this for the whole album, but definitely this song could see it as a musical theatre piece easily easily this could be musical theatre and I would pay to see this on stage it'd be fantastic as a theatre show fantastic right, again the next song is Green which features Perez Hilton in there not really singing more it's more like a commentary over a show um, but Green is another one I've listened to a few times and I'm not that keen on um, I mean it's only a short one I think Let's have a look. Oh no, it's three minutes. I don't think I really make it to the end. I, I hate to say it, I'm just not keen on that one at all. And I mean, following that is Flying Monkey Lament 2, which is, let's have a look, Shoshana Bean. There's a few people I haven't heard of. Um, and again, I'm not keen on that one either. It's meant to just be a cheeky little interlude like the previous one, um, but it tends to be one I, I skip over mainly because I love the next song it's See Your Face by Amber Riley from Glee which is where I know her from um, oh, it's beautiful the first time I listened to it I cried <laughs> it really touches your heart it's all about a mum waiting for her son to come home and visit and she's got all these preparations ready for if he ever does and she keeps saying she knows that he won't and it's just oh it's gorgeously heart wrenching it's a beautiful song. I love it. I sing it in the kitchen badly. Badly. <laughs> but uh, it's one of them. Again, it's one of my favourites. There's quite a few on here right, that I can't have one favourite. But See Your Face is gorgeous. And then 
followed by this emotional song, you end up with wrong bitch, <laughs> which kind of then alleviates some of that emotion. Um, and it's Bob the Drag Queen who I loved in her series. <laughs> she is so funny. I loved Bob the Drag Queen. Um, and it's the first time during this album, actually, I believe, that we see Todrick in full drag. Um, they're both in full sort of green as well, like the Wicked Witch. Um, after the previous, previously they've been told they need to take the witch down. She's like at the top of Hollywood or something now. She's the main star. So in order to be top, she needs to come down. Um, and it's, it's kind of funny and it's brilliant. And she says something about, I'll stop the day that motherfucking monkeys fly or something and someone whispers in her ear and she's like oh they're flying now <laughs> so you even got like the flying monkey reference with the wicked witch um however the thing is at the end of the song we see her get shot which then leads into the following song which again is another mover another emotional venture called water guns and this has jordan sparks in it and water guns is is gorgeous it's so powerful it's all about how when you're kids you play with water guns and Todrick says how he cried with laughter when his dad shot his mum with a water gun and now kids have access in America anyway mainly to real guns and it's not about shooting each other with water guns anymore kids are killing each other and I think it's meant it's meant to make a real statement on on gun violence particularly which it really does it does it in a big way it's fab um, and again I know I keep saying this about every song but it is one of my favourites um, it's a beautiful piece it really has a, a fantastic message to it um, and give it a listen I'm totally losing my train of thought I'm sorry but just give it a listen um, so with three songs from from home right now um next one is blah 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 featuring will it show me so i've got another screen here but featuring it won't show me it's an actor though i've seen him in a few things all i can see is joseph um i think he's supposed to be the wizard in this context but again it's another song i'm not that keen on um I don't know why it's not that it's not catchy or well written or anything it's just something jars with me and it's just not one that I keep coming back to um, but the premise of it is that he signed this contract with the wizard and now that the witch has been knocked down from a podium he's gone back to try and get the, his end of the deal only to find out that he's the wizard is a liar and he's not re he's not who he says he is he's giving him a a contract full of a load of baloney <laughs> basically um, that then takes us to home which is another one i haven't listened to that much um i don't know if it's just it's not catchy or just because so many other songs i love on here i just keep going for them and not going for these ones um but it's all about him returning home after this hollywood journey i guess and sort of going back to his roots uh, it's like dorothy clicking her heels and going back to kansas um we then end the album on a corker it's low and now this is featuring rupaul the goddess herself um and i think it's just supposed to be almost like the top of his career like he's singing with rupaul is in full drag it's a fantastic song it's a real big production there's flying monkeys everywhere um he's half sort of glinda half alphaba um it is such a catchy song it is so good i would listen to it in clubs i listen to it all the time it is brilliant it's i mean as a whole i think todrick is a totally underrated artist um if i could i'd love to see him live but london is a long way away <laughs> and overall you know this album to me is fantastic it's moving it's emotional it's catchy it's well written I've watched the whole of the digital album as well and that is fab it's like watching a movie and it is a movie I would love to watch same as I said it's if it was a musical I would love to watch it um, 
it's a real production and you can tell especially because he posts behind the scenes as well you can tell how much he loves what he's doing and how much effort and passion and devotion goes into it he really loves his art um, and everything has to be perfect and spot on and it really is it's brilliant the whole thing as a production as an album is phenomenal to me um, and I mean it's my favourite album I don't know in how long it's been such a long time since I've had a whole album that I love and not just a couple of songs by an artist and I think you guys need to check him out <laughs> Um, he's totally underrated it's brilliant he incorporates so many other drag queens in his work he gives obviously gives opportunities to all these people trying to achieve the same thing he has and enough said <laughs>